Hello once again. You are welcome again to this video learning program whereby we are still learning about surveying instruments for Masonry Tibet students. Now we are going to perform a very interesting task on surveying. It is a surveying task. The task that we are going to perform is just on how to measure the horizontal distance using the automatic level. So, we are going to measure the horizontal distance using this automatic level. Remember, in the previous session, we performed the setup of this automatic level. And, of course, the setup of a level, it is known as the temporary adjustment of a level. And if you remember well, we went through some steps in the setting of this instrument, like the setting and the leveling. Now, we are going to measure the horizontal distance using this automatic level. This is how we are going to proceed. First of all, we are going to select two points. Let us suppose that this is the point number one. And let's call this point, point A. This is point A. You have to keep in mind that this is the point A that you have selected. This is the first point. It is named point A. Now, let us find out the point B. Let us select the point B or point number two. Now, let's suppose that this is the point number two. So, this point, it is point B. So we have two points, point A and the point B. What we are going to do is to find or to calculate the distance between the point A there and this point B. So we are going to find out the horizontal distance between the two selected points. Right. In order to find the distance, there is a method that we are going to use. And the method is called the Stadia method. So it is a method whereby the Stadia lines are concerned. I think it would be better if I, expl I explain to you what are the Stadia lines. Normally, when you try to look through the eyepiece, so inside the telescope, if it is correctly focused, a set of lines inside here can be seen in a circle or in a plain glass circle. It is just like this. Suppose that we are inside the telescope. So we are looking through the telescope and we see a circle, which is like this. And, and there are some lines in the circle. The lines are looking like this. So the lines are learning horizontally. This is an horizontal line. And vertically, this is a vertical line. So these lines, which are learning horizontally and vertically, they are called close hairs. Close close hairs. They are lines learning vertically and horizontally. Close hairs. Then, then when you look through the eyepiece, you will see other types of lines. The lines which are above, the short lines which are above this horizontal cross here, and another short line which is below this cross here. So these are two short lines above the horizontal cross here and below the horizontal close here. So, these two short lines are called 
stadia lines. So these are stadia These are stadia lines, the short lines located above and below the horizontal close hair. So, to find out the horizontal distance between the two selected points, we are going to use a method whereby these short stadia lines will be concerned. So, the general formula to find out the horizontal distance using this automatic level is formula is upper upper stadia upper stadia reading minus lower stadia reading Then, times a hundred. So the formula to find out the horizontal distance between the two selected points is the Upper stadia reading minus lower stadia reading times 100. 100 is always a constant or a multiplying factor. So by taking what we will read from this upper stadia minus what we are going to read from this lower stadia will give us what we call stadia interval. And then the product or the result will be multiplied by 100 and finally, we find the distance between two points. I think it is clear, right? Now, let us proceed with the practice of taking these two readings. Upper, upper stadia reading. and the lower stadia. So to perform this practice of measuring the distance, we are going to use, of course, this automatic level together with the leveling staff or staff reading. Using this automatic level, we are going to take the readings. We are going to read on this staff. It means that we are going to take the readings on this stuff. So this stuff will give us the value of upper stadia and the value of lower stadia. Then by taking the upper minus lower times 100, we will get finally the distance that we are, that we are looking for. Now, in order to take the readings there on a staff, there are a short operation that we are going to perform. First of all, we are going to perform the focusing of, ins of this instrument. So we are going to focus on that staff, which is the object that we are going to be observed. So to focus on the, the staff, or the focusing process, it is done in two ways. The first way, we are going to, to point to point this telescope towards the staff. So we are going to point the automatic level of the telescope toward the staff. So to do this, let us try to point this level toward the staff. Then, after pointing this level toward the staff, we are going to use this focusing screw in order to bring the image of staff clear and sharp.
just like this. Now I can see the stuff clearly without any flu. So the stuff is in the vision. Then the second step, I have to bring the crosshairs clear and sharp. So the crosshairs must be focused, which means that the focusing of this instrument is done through the focusing of the objective using this focusing screw to catch that stuff. Then the focusing is done through the eyepiece, this eyepiece. So I'm going to turn the eyepiece either inward or outward in order to bring these lines into focus. Now, the crosshairs and the study lines are seen very clear, very sharp, and they are in focus. Then, the step is just to take the readings. I'm going to record the upper study and the lower study reading. Then, after reading the upper and the lower, I'm going to record the data in this field book. It is a field book or a field notebook, whereby I'm going to put what I have read there. Now, the upper is, the upper study reading is 1416. The value is in millimeters. Then, to convert in meters, I get 1.416. Then the lower, the lower reading is one, three, four, seven millimeters. Then to convert in meters, I get one point three four seven. So the upper. The upper I have got 1.416 meters. Then the lower 1.347 meters. Now I think it is very easy to find out the horizontal distance between the two selected points. How? The upper is the horizontal distance. Horizontal distance HD is equal to 1.416 minus 1.347 then times 100. This will give Six point nine. Now this is the horizontal distance that we have measured using this automatic level. Now we are going to check if really the value we have got is the same as the one we are going to get on field. Now let us do the check to ensure that truly the value is six point nine. The distance has to be. 6.9 meters. Let's do the check.
Now it is correct. If you try to look at the value obtained, it is 6.9, exactly the same value we have got using this automatic level. It means that the work done is perfectly correct. Now, dear learners, I think you have enjoyed the session and it was very easy to find out the horizontal distance using this automatic level. Simply, we have to follow the formula and nothing is impossible. Thank you for your participation and see you in the next session. Thank you so much.